Welcome back. You're still with us on See Today Business. Indonesian immigration has restricted the import of goods from overseas, specifically focusing on items carried by flight passengers. To get the latest update on import restrictions on goods, we are now connected with our news team, Fahrian Bahri and Dipta Adi Wiguna at the Sukarno Hatta International Airport in Tangerang, Banten. Fahri, hello, good afternoon. Could you please tell us? What are the types of goods that are being restricted, why they are being restricted, why this is being done, and what the progress is like so far? Good afternoon, Krishna, and everyone who are watching say today. This information might be useful for those who are traveling from abroad to Indonesia, especially to Jakarta, because usually Indonesian people often bring souvenirs for their family or friends, or for those who are who are open a buying service or what's known locally as just a tip or just tip because the customs of Sukarno Hatta International Airport began implementing restrictions on five types of imported goods carried by airplane passengers from abroad. Krishna and C today viewers, they are five um, types of goods that are limited in number namely the first one is electronic uh, devices with a maximum of five units and with a maximum total value of 1500 us dollar the second one is cellular phones headset and also tablets with a maximum of two units the third one is footwear with a maximum of two pairs the fourth one is um, bags with a maximum of two pieces and then the last one is um, other finished textile goods with a maximum of five pieces. These restrictions apply to every passenger coming from abroad both through transit and direct flights. While passengers who carry goods exceeding the specified limit will be subject uh, to import duties and taxes in accordance with applicable regulation. This is uh, in accordance with the regulations from Trade Minister number 36 of 2023 uh, concerning about import policies and also regulation. And today still in the atmosphere of um, national joint um, trips, what I can tell you from the ground that customs tightened the inspection of passengers' luggage, including to Indonesian workers or Indonesian migrant workers. Krishna and see today viewers, they are a number uh, or a several um, reasons why, is, uh, why this policy is applied. Namely, the first one is maintaining national economic um, stability, and then the second one is protect the domestic industry for, from unfair competition of imported goods. The government urges the community as well as uh, the importers to pay attention to the new rules and make good planning in carrying out import activities. Krishna, back to studio. All right, Fahrian Bahri and Dipta Adiwiguna coming to us live from the Sukarno Hatta International Airport in Tangerang, Bandung. Thank you so much for your report. All right, unfortunately, we have run out of time, but you can always get the latest update on all of our stories at ctoday.com for free. Make sure you follow us on our social media accounts. We're available on Instagram, X, and YouTube at ctoday news. This has been your daily ctoday business update. Make sure you check back tomorrow for the latest business news. I'm Krishna Sam. Signing off with See Indonesia, See the World, See Today.